official announcement. Yes, it's Femi OK fighting the PA system here at the Ideal Home Exhibition in X in Earl's Court. And we've brought our own bubble machine, yes? The garden is very happy. And we have a celebrity guest. It is none other than Joyce Stacey. <laughs> Joyce, it's wonderful to see you. It's lovely to You'll see you. You'll be pleased to know there's no likeness between you and your son, Christopher. Pure. <laughs> Pure. Oh, oh, you sorted that one out well. It's wonderful to see you and to be here with Chris. So do chip in, because I know you are a major soap fan. So we're, talking, we're having a bit of a soap discussion, aren't we, are, we Chris? We are, we here indeed, in the yes. soap hour. It's exciting, aren't we? We're here for a whole week here. Let's get cracking with our soap stories then. Well, one of the actually it's sort of in the news now as we speak. Um, as we know, the um, last Los Angeles earthquake on the 17th of January um, affected the bold and the beautiful, and um, several of the characters were um, woken up by the um, earthquake, including Darlene Connolly, who plays Sally. And uh, quite personally, I think it was Sally Spectra that caused Calling the earthquake. Out bed, causing <laughs> <Yeah>. earthquake. <laughs> who caused the earthquake? But she um, she suffered um, structural damage to her luxury apartment. Yes. And apparently production on the Bold and the Beautiful had to be held up while they checked that the um, riggings and everything were safe to use. So I would presume today they're going through exactly the same procedure just to make sure that everything is OK for the actors. And some of the actors will probably not be able to get into work. Well, Joyce, I know you don't have cable, but you do watch tapes, don't you, yes. of the show. Have you caught any of the Bold and the Beautiful? No, not You really haven't. Nice. It's, you, you don't know what you're missing. I'm going to sit you <laughs> back in the studio a little bit later and you can watch it. It's extremely glamorous, very dramatic, nice close-ups. You're close looking like ups. something kind of bold and beautiful today, aren't you, love? Thank you. <laughs> Moving on, Chris. Don't be rude to your mother. We're Moving all watching. Um, CBS, um, which is the net network that Los, um, in Los Angeles where um, The Bold and the Beautiful go out, and also another show which is filmed next door to The Bold and the Beautiful with Young and the Restless which we've had a lot of calls about recently. Well, a lot of the stars have got into this new fitness trainer, which is the American Mr. Motivator, called Patrick O'Donnell. Now, he's roped in Michael Damon, who plays Danny. He's actually in New York at the moment, starring in Joseph. Um, Laurie Lee Bell, who plays Christine, um, in Young and the Restless. Joanna Johnson, who plays Karen in The Bold and the Beautiful. Bradley Bell, who is head writer. And wouldn't you like to be a head writer? Yes, please. Mm -mm. <laughs> and Scott Thompson Baker, who plays Connor. Now he's roped them all in, and he takes exercise classes at the CBS studios in Los Angeles every day of the week at 5 a.m. Fascinating, Joyce. I must ask you. I've got you down as a Coronation Street fan. I am. A I could tell that. But what do you think about American soaps? Have you ever indulged yourself in a bit of LA? Well, years soap ago, I used to watch Dynasty, uh, but. It's all a dream, isn't it? Well, apparently Dallas is coming back, and yeah. JR and the Ewings and stuff. You know, I used to watch you Dallas, watch yeah, Dallas, but you? I wasn't keen. JR, no. Mm. They're too far-fetched at American soaps. Do you know that your son and I are having a relationship? I couldn't care less. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in that case... See what I have to work with. Moving on, moving, moving on. on. You could be my future mother-in-law if you... Well, you called me mum on the phone. I know, if he plays his cards wrong. <laughs> anyway, Emmerdale. Emmerdale. A new face in Emmerdale. Stuart Wade, believe it or not, he left college one uh, drama school one day, um, and the next day he was lined up as a thug in Emmerdale. Instant success Instant and success, fame. yes. So he, um, he didn't have to... And sort of audition very much for the role. He feels he's quite lucky and he can't wait to get his teeth because he's teeth into the part because his part of Biff is going to get much more dramatic. A critical comment from Joyce Stacey once again. I think you probably watch Emmerdale, don't you, Joyce? I love it. I can tell. You've been there, I know you? the I've type. I've been to Emmerdale. Have you? Yeah. How was it for you then, Joyce? You really? missed a few care perhaps, didn't you? <laughs> really, really <laughs> nice. Yes. It's lovely country. And it was really, really nice. Now, yeah, Emmerdale's getting a bit sassy and sexy. Do you approve? Yeah. You like the bit of a rumpy pumpy engine? You know, well, I don't stuff. mind at all. I mean, I've had my day. I think in your day you were a bit of a raver. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Staying on Emmerdale. <laughs> yes. Um, changing the subject. Changing Chris. the subject. There's a new video out in the shops Emmerdale The Rescue, which is those very dramatic scenes that we saw earlier on this year where um, the plane crash happened and, you know, several people died. It was all very, very dramatic. 
So that's some um, on the cars. In the shops now, ten ninety nine if you shop in Virgin, eleven ninety nine if you shop elsewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> The Home and Away Fan Club, we've been in touch with them. We know they are kind of uh, winding down a yes, little bit. Yes, they are. Oh, hello. Fight it, Chris, fight it. You Pippa. big and loud enough. Um, yes, they've actually um, going to sell off all their merchandise. And I haven't got the address on me, but I will I will bring it for next time. OK. And um, they're selling off all their merchandise, and you can pu purchase them from the Home and Away Fan Club quite cheaply. Over to Joyce, our TV critic. Joyce, once again. Australian soaps. Home and away, I yeah. love it. Really? Well, those youngsters walking around with firm pecs. Yeah, we <laughs> like it. No, it really, it's a storyline, isn't it, yeah, really? Yeah, good storyline. Like. And yeah. do you think they're a bit ahead of Neighbours, would you say? Well, I don't watch Neighbours. You don't, right. OK. OK, moving on there. Staying on Home and Away, actually, the creator, John Holmes, has quit Network 10. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, they listened. <laughs> they did. <laughs> to supervise the work on Home and Away, the movie. Yes. Which apparently will be ready for Christmas, ready for release for Christmas, whether it be a TV release or whether it be, you know, in the cinemas now release. Yeah. I hope it's TV release, actually, because if it's in the cinemas, you've got to pay money, haven't you? Yeah. Yes, we have. In fact, we keep bringing you updates of Home and Away movie at home. If you're white TV viewers, you'll know that. Home and Away, the movie, we'd be going to see that one, Joyce. No, I don't go to the movies. You don't? So you wait for a video. In fact, we, we show Pathé News archives on YTV. I bet you've seen them the first time round, haven't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just going to slap me later. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. A new soap. Now, several of the... We haven't got enough, have we? We haven't got enough, no. <laughs> and it does keep us going, well, till mid-April at least. Shut your face. <laughs> Carry on. Um, yeah, some of the ITV contractors have got together and decided to do this new late night soap, late night, 10.40 slot on a Thursday. Um, it's going to be an adult theme, so it'll be a bit raunchier than, say, Coronation Street and EastEnders. Um, there's all sorts of rumours of what it's going to be. It's going to probably be an hour long to a half hour, depending on what they can agree on the time slot. Um, it will be made in conjunction with Central TV, Granada and Carlton, so it should have like a theme common to all the areas. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's going to cost 30000 an episode to make. Which is apparently quite cheap in it TV. Is, yeah. And it will all be done on single, single cameras and things like that, a bit like we're doing here today. Chris, all I can say is thank you for all that news. Pleasure. Joyce Stacey, it's been wonderful meeting you. My TV mother-in-law, Chris, I know you're going out and about after the now. break. Chris will be our rampaging reporter. I'll see you soon. Don't go away. See you. Thanks.